Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another part of this to get this thing equal, and I think I've got it. I made some center lines, and I rotated this around the center, kind of equally off, okay? Then what I want to do in the previous video, the thing went halfway past my line. So I'm gonna cut the line right there. Now we need to look at this when we do this. It's probably grabbing the other part of the line, so we need to go to object and break curve apart. That way it'll leave that line. And we can nudge that up and you can see it left that line. So, well, matter of fact, we'll leave it there on nudge. Let's do our blend. I'm gonna hit B just to put them even. It doesn't really matter. I don't think it affects anything. But we'll go to blend and I think we blended six. Hit apply, blend along full path. blend and rotate objects. You can see it went and went halfway down that line like we thought it, or I thought it was gonna do. So now if we take these other two away, and nudge this back, voila, your blend is evenly spaced around that and evenly spaced to here. So if you did this for all the sides, and let me just kind of, maybe just kind of show you how I did that on the bigger one. I, first of all, you need to find the center of this circle and you take my, and get near the center and it'll, well, it's not gonna do it because I broke it apart. Let's see if it'll, well, easily done. No, it's not. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's shift select both these. That should be the center of that. So move your, tell you what, I'm just gonna get it. I'm gonna get rid of that line, indexing line. Tell you what, I'm gonna shift select both of them and group them together, control G. So my X is gonna be there. And really it doesn't matter that important because we're not really, we're gonna use the, the indexing lines and not the line itself. And then I'm gonna See, so my X is pretty close. So what I did is I, so that's the top of his face on his ear. I'm gonna, and make sure you have plenty of duplicates of this guy, because uh, you're fixing to rotate him and kind of mess it up. I can grab it and then just rotate it about equal with that. Grab that and put it like right in the middle. Let's see how good we are on rotating. And it, like I said, it doesn't really matter that much because the blend is gonna rotate. Let's set our nudge, set nudge factor on something light. And let's just kind of nudge that over. Okay, now, control D and make a duplicate of that guy. Change your rotation in the center here and rotate this guy all the way around to the edge there. Now, before I cut that line right there, and like I did in the first video, if you need that line, you're gonna wanna make a duplicate of that face freehand. Okay, I'm a little bit, of, so I'm here, I take that away. And we're gonna go and break, ungroup it, and make sure that go up here and break curve apart. So here's our new object. 
need to get rid of that. Get rid of that line. So here's our new blend area. Let's control D and make a duplicate. And you could do this mathematically to try to figure out how many you need. I'm gonna say we need four, 12, because we already got two. Put apply, <clears throat> blend along full path, put it on that path, blend along full path and rotate all objects. And that's pretty close. That's a pretty good guess. Now, what's so good about this, if it was, it's really a little bit closer. So let's back up here. And we did 12. Let's do 11. Blend new path, put it on the path. Come on. Blend and rotate. That looks pretty, pretty good. And that's what I'm saying. If you did this on all sides, on, on this one more and the other ear, you'd be done. And, and look how good that looks. That's what we're shooting for. And this is what I was saying about if you had the mouse uh, already, you could erase all these lines. Look. You could erase all these lines. See, I'm, I've got them grouped together, break apart. So if you had this mouse, let's just delete this line so it doesn't get in the way, and that line. If you'd already had the mouse and you'd nudged it and you needed the lines connected, Look how simple that was. And I'm a little bit off because I, I did not nudge it. But we'll set our nudge factor on something little and nudge it up and over this way a little bit. And that's gonna be hard to beat. I think this is gonna be the way to do it. I'm a little bit off here. Uh, I don't know what I did there, but I hope you get the principle. This is what, if he's, this is what he's after, this is gonna be the, the way to do it. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing, and thank you for watching.